Hello everyone, welcome to the practice session. Today we'll discuss step four of exercise one. So as we had mentioned earlier, in exercise one, we are trying to observe our imagination. That is the self is observing the self. The consciousness is observing the consciousness. Now, when you go to observe your imagination, you may not be able to see the complete imagination to begin with. So you can start by observing your thoughts. From the thoughts, you can make out your feeling. We also said that if you're not able to see the thoughts also, then you can see the object of attention. Observing the object of attention, you can see your thought. And while observing your thoughts, you can make out the feeling that you had. And finally, we have to observe the complete imagination. I hope you have been doing this practice. So in step one, we are trying to observe the imagination without evaluating it, without altering it, without uh, adding anything to it, without reacting to it. In step two, one is expected to observe that the feeling one is having at this moment, is it naturally acceptable to oneself or not? So it is in accordance with the human nature or not? Would you like to continue with this or not feeling? In step three, you are trying to observe the state of being that are you comfortable with your state of being or not? So this is something that we have been doing so far. Now we'll go one step ahead to uh, discuss step four. So we'll discuss step four now. These are the seven steps which we are discussing one by one. And gradually we have to develop the awareness to such an extent that we are able to be observant every moment. So in step four, we are again doing the self-evaluation and we are trying to find out who is deciding our feeling. So when you start observing your feeling, your imagination, you might find that you are not comfortable with yourself, right? For example, you are feeling angry on somebody. Now the other person misbehaved with you the other day. And now when you remember that incident, you feel angry upon the other. Now, if you look at this, the same person with the same behavior might not have made you angry. If you had interpreted his behavior in some other manner, let's say you are able to see that the person was upset. And when I went to him, he felt irritated himself. And that's why he shouted at me. And just see what is your feeling now. Earlier, when you felt that the other person wanted to make you happy, you were feeling angry upon the other. And now that you are able to see that the other person was upset within oneself. And that's how he felt as if you have somewhat disturbed him. And that's why he shouted upon you then your feeling will change. So you'll see that the feeling that is there in you, it is not being decided by some other human being or even some physical condition. Let's say you go home and you find that your room uh, is not in a good shape, the things are scattered, and then you start feeling angry why the room is in this kind of state. And then you find that a child has come to your room and he's a very innocent child. He doesn't know how to keep things in order. And that's why the room has gone into a bad shape and then observe what is your feeling. So you'll see that when you are assuming that somebody has made your room in such a pathetic condition, you are feeling angry upon the other. But when you learned that the other person is a child, then your feeling has changed. So the same physical condition that you observed earlier was causing one kind of feeling in you. And now the feeling has changed. Why? because your interpretation of the situation has changed. So you'll see that it is not the external physical condition. It is not the other human being, but it is you yourself who decides the feeling, isn't it? Are you able to see this? Try to look into your imagination. Try to see what all you have been thinking about in the past one day. And then just try to see that whenever you felt uncomfortable, what was your feeling there and whom you were finding responsible for that kind of feeling some other person, some other physical condition, or you yourself. So try to make it out. Now, the more you explore into this, we'll come to see that it is I who decides the feeling, the thought that I have. The other or the situation outside may act as a trigger. But ultimately, it is me who is taking the decision for the feeling that I have at this moment, isn't it? And on the basis of my feeling or thought, I am happy or unhappy. So one major conclusion that we can draw from here that I am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. 
the other person said some words okay maybe the other person said some abusive words and you felt very bad about it and you started thinking about how to take revenge how to react to the other in some other situation now what has happened here the words have reached your ears you interpreted the meaning of the words in one manner and then you started thinking in a particular manner now let's see if you are not acquainted with that language the person said the same words but you will have a different kind of feeling why because your interpretation of the words has now changed so it's not ultimately the words that are making you angry it's not that the other person is making you angry but how you relate to the words how you relate to the other person if the same person is said by somebody with whom you are friendly you will feel one way if the same words are said by somebody with you with whom you feel opposed you will feel some other way let's say a person with whom you feel affectionate gave some gift to you a physiochemical thing and you felt very happy there you know full of joy that this person has shown his or her affection for me by giving this kind of gift let's say some other person gave the same gift to you and let's say this other person had mocked upon you the previous day and you are feeling bad about the other person and the same person is coming with a big smile and giving some gift to you now how will you feel you will not feel the same way does it happen with you or not try to think about it does it happen with you so you see that the external situation the person may only act as a triggering point for triggering some kind of feeling okay but ultimately it is you who decide what feeling you are going to have and your feeling decides your happiness or unhappiness so you can come to this conclusion that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness i hope this makes sense to you think about it so with the clarity that ultimately it is me who is taking the decision for the feeling that i have on the basis of my feeling i am happy or unhappy i can see that i am 100% responsible for my happiness and unhappiness and this leads to two important conclusions one i become willing to take responsibility to start to make effort for my self development for my transformation since i am able to see that i am only responsible for my happiness or unhappiness and i want to be happy in continuity so i will have to take the responsibility i will have to work for it so i have to develop myself once i am able to see that it is ultimately my own development my awakening to the higher activities that is going to ensure happiness in me i become serious about it isn't it i become serious about developing myself earlier it might be the case that i am more serious about uh, setting things right outside to to change the other people to change the physiochemical things okay but now when i am able to see that my happiness or unhappiness is going to be decided by my state of being my feeling and i am responsible for that so i become serious about it i start paying attention to my imagination i start awakening i start working for the awakening of my higher level activities this is one thing second thing i can get free from complaining against others because now i can see that the other or situation are not responsible for my unhappiness they can at most trigger the process and ultimately it is me myself who is responsible now this is also a very important point you we'll see that in your imagination you might be complaining against others so many times in a day for so many days for so many years some incident might have taken place 10 years back but you are still complaining within you against that person and you are feeling unhappy the other person may not be even aware does it happen with you or not let's say you felt angry upon somebody and you started thinking of taking revenge from that person and you are churning your thoughts you are arguing with that person you are scheming in your own imagination how to take revenge you keep on doing this for 4 hours 5 hours and then suddenly feel that okay let it go we'll see it next time and now you meet the other person the other person is not at all aware what has been going on in your imagination for the past 4 or 5 hours isn't it and he comes and greets you with a big smile and just see what happens to you so you'll see that in our day to day life we keep on going through such situations we are suffering inside because of our imagination we are suffering inside because we are not having the feeling which is naturally applicable to us 
But once I'm able to see that it is me who is responsible for my feeling, my thought, my expectation, and my feeling, my thought, my expectation is only going to make me happy or unhappy. I become responsible to develop myself. At the same time, I get free from complaining against others. I might be carrying so many complaints, but now I'm able to see that there's no need to complain because ultimately what the other person has done is as per his or her level of competence, my interpretation is something that is making me happy or unhappy. So there's no need to complain, but rather I have to work further to develop myself. I also have to develop the other, but before that I have to develop myself. So few examples here, just try to see what happens when someone says something harsh or abusive to me. So the sound reaches my ears. I pay attention to it. I listen to the words, think about them and then draw some conclusion from them. The feeling that I now have within me, is it decided by me or the other person? So the conclusion that I have drawn within me, this is making me happy or unhappy. And I have drawn this conclusion, not the other person. Are you able to see this? If I come to know that the other person has a serious psychiatric illness and doesn't quite understand what he is saying, what is my feeling now? Will it be the same or differ? So when the other appears well and says the same words, what is my feeling then? We find that the words are the same, but what has changed now is my interpretation of the words. This interpretation depends upon my perspective, my sanskars. So the stimulus from outside is the same, but my feeling has changed based on my interpretation. I may have the feeling of pity or feeling of opposition for the same abusive words. In other words, I am the one who is deciding to have this feeling. I can choose my feeling based on my own conscious decision rather than as a reaction to the other's behavior. So now in exercise two, when you go into step five, we'll uh, investigate it further into the details of this. So you'll see that the other person has said some words. The words have reached my ears and I have given some meaning to those words depending upon my own sanskar, my own conditioning, my own level of understanding. And then I become happy or unhappy. We have discussed about trust, right? Earlier when we were studying the previous course. So if I'm able to see that the intention of the other person is right, only the competence is lacking, my interpretation will be different. But if I assume that the other person intentionally wants to make me unhappy, my interpretation is going to be different. In the second situation, I'm going to be restless, unhappy. While if I'm able to see that uh, the intention is sound, only the competence is lacking, I may feel pity upon the other. I may feel like helping the other to develop the competence, isn't it? I hope you have been able to go through this kind of transformation with the previous course. And if not, we'll work on this further in this course and just try to see whether your interpretation now gets transformed or not. When you are able to see the intention of the other, isn't it? So this was just an example, but you can choose many examples from your day-to-day -day life. Once you have gone through this step four, so now you can be more observant of your behavior and try to see how you interpret the other's behavior. So there's an assignment. For the next 24 hours, in every incident and interaction with others, evaluate your feeling and ask yourself, who is deciding this feeling? Someone else or the circumstances outside or myself? Who is ultimately making the decision? If you are able to see this naturally, that it is you yourself who is taking the decision, you'll see a lot of transformation taking place in your imagination, in your desire, in your thought. Now the way you analyze, will be completely different from the way you analyzed earlier. The feeling that you're going to have now may be completely different from the feeling that you had the other day. Isn't it? So write your observations in your journal and keep on uh, noting down these things in your journal and we'll see a gradual progress taking place in your imagination, in your level of competence. So today we have discussed step four of exercise one and today we were able to come to a very important conclusion that it is me myself who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. The moment I am able to see this, I become responsible to work for my happiness, to develop my competence, to awaken to the higher activities. And I stop complaining about others within me. So the assignment that is given to you today, to try to do this and keep on doing this every day, keep on doing this every four hours. So next week when we 
come to step five, we'll come with some development of yours, and then we'll go to step five to discuss it further. So do this now, and then we'll discuss step five in the next week. Thank you.